So one of my favorite things to do with my disk station is having it be the device and the only device which syncs with all of my various cloud services like Dropbox and Google Drive and Box.net or Box.com or I can't even remember what it's called. And Synology's Cloud Sync is exactly that. Then I can sync that from my disk station using Synology Drive to wherever I want and access it however I want. And it's Cloud Sync makes this super simple. So you install the Cloud Sync engine on your Synology, which is just done in Package Center. And then you start setting up all of the things that you want to sync with. And I, you can see I've got six different things, two of which are Dropboxes. Try to connect to two Dropboxes on your Mac, and you will find out that this is an impossibility, but not when you're using Cloud Sync. So you just go in and I'll say, okay, yep, this is Dropbox for day BBM. It's a two gig Dropbox. I'm using 1.15 gigs of this. I've set it up to sync to a folder on my Synology and you can see it just appears there. Actually, these are my Google drives. My Dropbox drives are elsewhere. But uh, if I go into here and I go to cloud sync, we will find it. And boom, there it is. Dropbox day BBM. And that is the, contents of my Dropbox, which I use to back up a bunch of stuff from WordPress. And I just point it at it. I tell it to schedule. I can have it only sync at certain times, but I don't. I just have it sync all the time. And I, you can name it and you can set upload and download rates so that it's not chewing up all your bandwidth. And then it'll tell you what it did because, it, you know, Synology's keep logs. And the same is true for my main Dropbox and all four of my Google Drives. And the nice part is, as as you saw when I was looking in uh, in File Station here, everything here in this Drive folder is synced as part of my Synology Drive. This Cloud Sync Archive is not synced as part of my Synology Drive. So there are things that I want archived to my disk station, but I don't want automatically synced with Drive. Could I use Selective Sync in Drive to do this? Of course, but I didn't want to have to mess with that. So I just have these things live outside of the folder that I sync for Synology Drive. And now I'm good to go. And I've got all the stuff that I want. It's pretty cool. That's very cool. Synology Cloud Sync. Yeah.